I'm in Scotia, California, right across from the wood mill. And today I'm going to see Scotia and Rio Dell. Scotia was a mill city, mostly for redwood. And the mill is still here, but it's scaled back operations from its peak. This is all, or used to be, company housing for workers in the mill. Now this housing is open to everybody. Um, and uh, so this town is kind of being repurposed from resources to residential. Also, it's not an incorporated town. It's a census designated place, and it's also a company. It's like Town of Scotia LLC. So this is the middle of Scotia. You know, you have a basic businesses in this little center. There's like a store, a grocery store more than a supermarket. So to get other things, you have to go for a while. So not a whole lot to Scotia, um, but it's, there's another town very soon. Um, and, you know, most of the people here, you know, there's some people who work in the mill, there's some people who work in these businesses. Probably a lot of people are commuting into Eureka, though. I don't know the exact numbers. And just like anywhere in this region, uh, tourism is also an important industry here. This is the bridge over the Eel River that separates Rio Del from Scotia. And it's a great bridge. I like it architecturally. And this is the Eel River from the bridge. And we were there the other day, and at the time I said it didn't look too high, and it looks a lot higher here. Maybe it's joined another fork between the park and here. Um, or maybe just all that rain did something. Because if it was raining that hard in Scotia, it was raining even more in the hills. Um, yeah, uh, there's a lot of rivers in Humboldt County. And I would say more about it, but right now I'm kind of nervous. We're gonna get off the bridge. Okay, I've crossed the bridge. And now I'm in Rio Del, which is an incorporated city, as opposed to Scotia. Um, and is a, about four or five times the bigger, has over 3,000 people. Um, and in Humboldt County, that's not small, but it, it's also not big. There are larger cities, but it's still not a small place. So in the county, this is, you know, considerable. And it also has more businesses and more going on, which we'll see as we walk down Main Street, which is called Wildwood Street. Don't charge at you. I will be careful. So like I said, there's more going on. And as we can see, more going on means there's a pair of goats here. I've said this many times in Oregon when I went to coast towns, um, cannabis dispensaries are popular. Obviously Humboldt County well known for its industry. So yeah, there's gonna be a lot of cannabis business here. Well, that was the old business district of Rio Del along those roads there. And there's more businesses this way, but it's more like gas stations and stuff like that. Uh, Rio Del doesn't really have a grocery store either. It has a Dollar General. Um, but people here, if they wanna to go to a grocery store, they pretty much have to drive to Fortuna. And I've talked about that being a problem in a lot of small towns. So there is bus service in Humboldt County, and the bus service combines aspects of interurban service with local service. Um, and the buses run only to these areas only a few times a day. They run between Eureka and Arcata much more often. Um, and because there's a lot of towns along the route, for the bus to get all the way from Scotia where it starts to Trinidad where it ends, takes over two hours. And I might be doing that or I might not, not today, but later. Um, but it, the bus service is actually um, pretty efficient for the low population density of this area. This is the Rio Del Library, part of, part of the Humboldt County Library System, which is a nice system, but in a smaller town like this, we can see it is open three days a week, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Saturday for about five hours each day. Um, so, a lot of times small towns like this are appealing until you realize limited facilities and limited amount of hours. I mean, like everything else, it's a trade-off, but that is something to consider. Okay, well, this is the end of Rio Del. There's Highway 101 right there, going north into Fortuna. Um, and it's a Sunday and I don't have a lot to do. So I'm gonna head 
left on this road here and at least walk around it for a while depending on how wide the shoulder is and all of that stuff um, just see what we can see I left uh, Rio Del a couple minutes ago and uh, I'm outside of the city but I'm still in like a residential area right outside of the city don't know how long this will last until we get into like open countryside don't know how long I'll keep walking depends on a couple things including the weather and whether it stays interesting but on vacation I don't have anything else to do when I walk along a street like this I wonder a lot of things some of them objective like where do these people work you know what's the income here that type of thing but I also wonder about the subjective stories because I remember growing up on a street kind of like this when I was a kid and how we you know we'd have secret meeting places we'd have houses we were scared of that type of thing so you know I always wonder what are the little stories that make up a neighborhood like this and I probably won't find out but guessing sure is a lot of fun so it looks like just like that we're out of that residential area and uh, really out in the country passing through this tunnel of redwood trees one thing about Humboldt County and a lot of Northern California but especially about Humboldt County is that the communities were really founded separate from each other um, by different groups of settlers or by different groups of indigenous people for that matter uh, with different economic purposes uh, so I was just leaving a timber area um, and if we continued on this road I think it goes to Ferndale and so you go to towns like uh, Ferndale and Lolita and those are dairy towns and they were like kind of founded by different groups of immigrants at different times so even though on a map they're only like maybe five to ten miles apart when you see them they're quite different so it's almost like we have an island and all this countryside between them is kind of a sea um, and the people have very different backgrounds there um, and sometimes it can be quite different social and political backgrounds especially if you like you know go to a logging town versus you go to Arcata you know um, so that's something that's interesting about Humboldt County and um, you know also because of you know California car country culture how the freeways were built in the 1950s and 1960s or the highway um, route 101 um, there's no way to travel through between these towns by foot you know and it kind of contrasts with the environmental um, background of a lot of these communities is that even though they have an environmental consciousness they still kind of just think being separated by uh, separated from other towns and only connected by highway that's just taken for granted Anyway, so I just wanted to say something about that. Um, and other than that, I'm just enjoying this walk along Country Road. Well, I've walked far enough, and this is interesting because I was just in the timber part, and we can see on the other side of the river over these very wide, flat uh, fields full of very rich river sediment, and that's mostly a dairy area. And, you know, if we continued down this road, we would get to Ferndale and other dairy areas. So even though they're not far in distance, you know, we're really going from one part of the county to the other. Or we would be, besides now, I don't want to walk down that road because then I'd have to walk up again. So I'm going to turn around and return home now. Also, it's December, limited daylight, and I've seen a lot. It started to rain a little just a few drops I still have a couple miles till home so you know it might just keep on raining a couple drops or the sky might open and I'll be drenched um, but I'm in Humboldt County in December so I kind of accounted for that in my plans um, but I'm glad I turned around where I did and uh, you know even though I'm walking between this road and 101 I'm not gonna say the 101 101 uh, still having a good walk I'm back in Rio Del. Rain hasn't started totally yet. Uh, so one of the things is that when people think about California, they usually don't think about Humboldt County or Northern California in general, far Northern California in general. And then on top of that, people who do know about Humboldt County, 
they usually think about Arcata and Eureka, um, you know, the culture there. And so this is not what people think about when they think about Humboldt County. Humboldt County is very diverse um, as far as landscapes, cultures, economic basis. And I'm only here for a week and I'm trying to show sections of it. And hopefully this is uh, something that maybe is new to a lot of people. And, you know, like I said in a lot of my videos when I, in Oregon, I try to be even handed. Um, you know, I, I want to show the good and bad things about a city. So I can show a lot more good things about this city. A lot of natural beauty here. Um, a lot of unique cultural things here. And I could also show a lot more negative things. Um, the most negative thing for me is the isolation and the lack of services. Probably a lack of opportunity for young people. Uh, but I'll let, you know, the viewer kind of look at it and judge. What do they think about this community? I like it. Um, don't know if I could ever live, live here again. Um, but I do like it.